Hi, I'm Dr. Chloe Wong. I'm a lecturer in epigenetics here at the SGDP Centre at King's College London. I'm passionate about epigenetics, which is a biological mechanism that acts on top of genetic sequence without changing them, and adjusts how much, when and where a gene is turned on or off. One type of epigenetic mechanism is called DNA methylation, which is the addition of a chemical called methyl group to DNA. If I ask you why you're different to another human being, you might tell me in a short answer that it's because your DNA map is different to his or hers. But if I ask you why do you have different types of tissues and organs in your body, what will your answer be? And what if I ask you why do identical twins, who essentially has the same genetic makeup, could sometimes look different or even have different health conditions, what would your answers be? The human body is made up of about 100 trillion cells, all of which essentially have the same genetic material. Yet some cells are designed for use in muscles, other for bones, for the brain and the rest of your body. This is because although these different cell types share the same genetic material, they have gone through different journeys of epigenetic changes. Similarly, for identical twins, although they have the same genetic makeup, recent studies, including some of my own work, have shown large epigenetic differences in genetically identical twins, and some of these epigenetic changes have even been associated with different health conditions. I'm particularly interested in the role that epigenetic plays in autism spectrum disorder because there is still little known about the cause of autism and there are few effective treatments. Going back to DNA methylation, one of my recent studies compared the DNA methylation profiles of blood DNA from genetically identical twins where one twin has autism spectrum disorder and the other twin is unaffected. Interestingly, we saw DNA methylation differences that are specific to the group of autistic individuals when compared to their unaffected twin siblings. This data highlights the important role that epigenetic plays in autism spectrum disorder. To follow on, I'm working on two projects relating to autism epigenetics. For scientists in America and Singapore, we're mapping DNA methylation profiles across the whole genome using a very unique set of post-mortem tissue samples that were donated by autistic individuals and control unaffected individuals. With scientists at Batback College in London, we're using the same advanced technology to compare DNA methylation maps of individuals before and after they've been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders. Because epigenetic changes are potentially reversible, Autism epigenetic research would allow us to better understand the cause and development of autism spectrum disorder and also provide us with potential targets for new therapies.